The main purpose of a computer network is resource sharing. If you plan to have an Ethernet with many terminals, or want to learn more about this exciting field of engineering, then surely go through this Buzzle article, in order to arm yourself with some of the basic yet important concepts of computer networking. History of Computer Networking The technological advancements in the field of computer networking started in 1969. During that time, the Advanced Research Projects Agency ARPA, decided to implement a project called the Advanced Research Projects Agency Network ARPANET. This was the world's first network, which only consisted of four nodes. Since then, computer networking has come a long way. Introduction to Computer Networking A computer network is literally, a network of computers. Each computer in it is connected to another via a transmission medium such as an Ethernet cable. There are many different kinds of computer networks, such a LAN, MAN or WAN. There are also many different types of network topologies, also known as backbone network structures. A LAN local area network typically consists of a few interconnected computers, typically less than 100. The computer network in any single establishment or building will be a LAN type of connection. A metropolitan area network MAN is a network of many LANs. For example, an MNC might have many buildings in the same area. Every building might have their individual LANs. It would be highly essential to have a network between them. This is where a MAN comes into the picture. A city like New York or Chicago can have many MANs. When you connect all the above mentioned networks together, you will get a one wide area network. There are also Ethernet protocols, such as TCP IP, according to which communication in a computer network takes place. When all the above issues are taken care of, then you have a smooth running computer network. Parameter LAN 1 MAN area covered covers small area covers large area covers larger than LAN. Smaller than 1 error rates lowest highest moderate transmission speed high speed low speed moderate speed equipment cost uses an expensive equipment most expensive equipment uses moderately expensive equipment. Designing a simple computer network. When designing a computer network, selecting the right design becomes a priority. These designs are also known as network topologies. Depending upon the number of terminals that your network is going to have, you should select the appropriate network topology. There are mainly five types of network topologies. They are, star, ring, mesh, tree and bus. In star topology, all the nodes are connected to a single node. In ring topology, every node is connected to two other nodes and they form of a circle. In mesh topology, every node is connected to every other node. In tree topology, there is a root node or super node, to which two or more nodes are connected, and the rest of the terminals are connected in a hierarchical fashion. In bus topology, there is a common medium like a backbone, and terminals are connected to it. Transmission media. The physical channel of communication between the sender and the receiver is called the transmission media. There are two different types of transmission media, bounded and unbounded. The bounded media are those media in which communication takes place through wires. The unbounded media comprises wireless communication. Examples of bounded transmission media twisted pair cable coaxial cable fiber optic cable examples of unbounded transmission media radio links microwave infrared the factors that need to be considered while selecting a transmission media are as follows. Bandwidth, the greater the bandwidth of the signal the higher is the data transmission rate. Transmission impairments, whatever your media, it should have minimum transmission impairments. Interference, competing signals can sometimes distort or completely disrupt a signal. Interference by such signals should be minimum. Equipment. The following sheds light on some of the basic components that are used in making a computer network. Network Interface Card NIC. It is a hardware add-on component for the computer. All communication signals, to and from the node, must pass through the NIC first. Switch. All computers in a LAN must connect to a switch. 
A switch is a device which is capable of maintaining a local area network between all the terminals that are connected to it. It is also responsible for sending traffic inside and outside the switched network. Hub, it is used to connect various components, computer as well as other devices, in the network. A USB network hub should fill the needs of a home network. Router, a router is a gateway device that is responsible for establishing connection between various networks, internal as well as external. OC reference model and TCP IP reference model. Protocols are a set of standard rules that are followed during various stages of communication. OC Open System Interconnect Reference Model describes a hierarchy of various protocols that are used in computer networks. TCP IP Reference Model is derived from OC and provides a set of protocols that are used across multiple and diverse networks. The following discussion will help you understand the specific differences between layers of OC reference model and layers of TCP IP protocol stack. There are seven layers in OC reference model, and each layer performs a very defined function, application layer. This layer provides distributed information services. Presentation layer, provides independence to application processes. Sessions layer provides a control structure for communication between applications. Transport layer, provides reliable transfer of data between endpoints. Network layer, provides independence to the upper layers from the lower layers data link layer, provides reliable transfer of information across a physical link. Physical layer, handles transmission of an unstructured bit stream. There are only four layers in TCP IP reference model, application layer. Includes all processes and services that use transport layer to deliver data. Transport layer, provides support to TCP or IP protocol. Internet layer, it handles machine to machine communications. Host to network, responsible for accepting and transmitting IP datagram. The key difference between OC reference model and TCP IP reference model is that TCP IP came into effect with the advent of Internet and is the main language of communication used by it. TCP IP is a robust protocol model that can also be effectively used in smaller private network setups. Implementing a computer network design. While implementing a computer network, there are two kinds of technologies that have to be thought of, client-slash-server and peer-to-peer. -peer. In most cases, Client slash server technology is preferred as it provides a better capability to future growth and network expansion. Most existing computer networks are wired networks, and it is very difficult to change them. Considering future compatibility, wireless architecture proves to be better, as it provides easy scale up, without a lot of additional cost or much degradation of performance. Some examples of wireless computer networks are Pain Wireless Personal Area Network, MAN Wireless Metropolitan Area Network, LAN Wireless Wide Area Network. Even the network of mobile devices is considered a part of wireless networking. Security. If a computer network is carrying sensitive information, some form of data security has to be implemented. Computer networking security is a very broad topic, and immense amount of research has been done in this field. Basically the following issues must be addressed when tied to implement network security. Security attacks, these are actions which compromise security information. Security mechanisms, methods to prevent security attacks. Types of computer security, these are the services that are instrumental in handling security of the apparatus. They can be categorized as Confidentiality Authentication Integrity No Repudiation Access Control Availability All these are applicable to wireless networks as well. Troubleshooting A systematic approach can help greatly when trying to troubleshoot a computer network that has developed a problem. You should start by checking the wiring and connections first as faulty connection is the most common cause of most network related issues. If the wired connections are all checked and still the problem persists, then the hardware equipment must be inspected. If one finds that the hardware is also performing properly, then one must check for software malfunction. By performing these basic checks, 
one should be able to pinpoint the problem, and then proceed to the appropriate solution. Certifications The various certification courses that are available for computer networking certifications are as follows. Cisco Cisco Certified Network Associates, CNA, Cisco Certified Network Professional, CCMP, Cisco Certified Internetwork Expert, CHI, Cisco Certified Voice Professional, CCVP, Novelcony Red Hat Certified Engineer, RHCE, Microsoft Certified System Engineer, MSCE, Certified Information Security Professional, CISP, Degrees. The degrees that you can get in the field of computer networking are associate's degrees in computer networks, bachelor's degrees in computer networks and systems, and online diplomas. Once you have the basic qualification, you can go for a master's of science in computer networking as well. Jobs. Once you obtain a degree, or become a certified professional, then there are many jobs that can be applied for, like a network administrator a network technician, a network engineer, or a network analyst. A network administrator's job description includes overseeing the proper functioning of the network of an entire institution. A network technician's job description includes establishing and maintaining the network. A network engineer is responsible for high-level tasks such as creating, designing and maintaining the network. The network engineer and network administrator have similar jobs but they are different in the sense that, the engineer tackles more complex tasks that an administrator cannot handle, issues with network architecture, etc. A network analyst's job description includes the analysis of various situations in the network, predicting the outcome, and suggesting various solutions. He is basically responsible for various occurrences in the network and finding out whether the arisen issue is normal or malicious in nature. Computer networking encompasses all the aspects of computer science, hardware, software and security. Since there is huge growth in the IT sector, the future seems bright for this field.